The birth of First Baptist Church, Apple Street, Burlington, was predestined long before the Civil War. Slave owner Thomas L. Cowan of Davy County was so struck by the gift of preaching that God had given his slave, Uncle Harry Cowan, that he granted Harry privilege papers to preach, marry, baptize, and use the four Cowan plantations as a field for his ministry. Reverend Cowan spent 70 years of his life in gospel ministry and was one of the founders of the General Baptist State Convention of North Carolina Incorporated. At the time of his death in 1904, Reverend Cowan had organized 49 churches and baptized approximately 500 people. Today he is recognized as the father of Baptist preachers in North Carolina. In 1868, Reverend Cohen and Reverend Lewis Gibson of Greensboro, who considered themselves missionaries, held a meeting with several converts in company shops, now Burlington, North Carolina. Among those in attendance was Spencer Thomas, a former slave of Judge Ramallah Saunders, a prominent member of the House of Representatives in Raleigh. Thomas was sent to company shops after the emancipation to work as an apprentice under someone hired to provide service for the North Carolina Railroad Company. He worked as a tinsmith, brass worker, and coppersmith through the aid of a few months night school and close application to study an hour or two each night thereafter. The young Thomas acquired the ability to read intelligently, calculate safely, and to write legibly. Through this medium, he acquired a knowledge of divinity in a degree unequaled by many of his brethren who have had a far greater scholastic advantage in early life. Thomas opened his own foundry and tin shop, the first black owned business in company shops. He was among the number of converts attending the 1868 religious meeting conducted by Cohen and Gibson. Thomas was baptized and along with two others was licensed to preach the gospel of Christ as probationers. He and other devoted members helped the missionaries establish and organize the church. Reverend Walter Hodge served as pastor of the First Negro Baptist Church. Services were conducted in an old brick stable in nearby Graham until moved to an old log schoolhouse in Southwestern Company shops. The church was the only place of worship accessible to Negroes at the time. The building was used by both Methodist and Baptist congregations until the Baptists erected a frame structure on Sellers Street in 1868. The church grew. Spencer Thomas became pastor in 1870. In 1878, the church erected a two-story building. The first floor was used as a church, while the second floor was used as a meeting place for Masonic organizations and general entertainment. The building was later remodeled with the second floor left off. Within 10 years, the church was remodeled again. When the number of people attending from the Graham area exceeded the number from company shops, a separate church was established in Graham to accommodate the growing congregation. Reverend Thomas pastored both churches. As more people from neighboring communities began to attend, new churches were established in those communities to meet the demand. During Reverend Thomas's 20-year tenure, the town of Company Shop was renamed Burlington, and the church was renamed First Baptist Church of Burlington. Growing in grace. After the tenure of Reverend Spencer Thomas, the church was under the leadership of the following pastors in 1896 to 1914. 
While little is known about the specific contributions of earlier pastors, some of the spiritual and physical accomplishments made in the following 104 years saw tremendous changes and growth spiritually as the number of congregants continued to increase. With this mighty move of God, the members of First Baptist continue to improve the worship facilities. From 1952 to 1953, Reverend D.G. Speller installed new windows in the sanctuary. Unfortunately, the church building burned and services were held at Jordan Sellers School on Apple Street while the church was rebuilt. From 1953 to 1973, Reverend H.J. Cobb began a fundraiser for a new church building. It was subsequently built in 1963. In 1966, the church membership was unable to meet its financial obligations. This weighed heavily on Dr. Cobb. After petitioning the Lord in prayer for guidance, the Spirit directed him to Revelation 7. From this reading, he was led to initiate the Tribe Rally to raise money for the building fund. Members gave an extra $10 each quarter for this purpose. Dr. Cobb was also credited with instituting the Six Point Sunday School System, organizing the Missionary Department, the Youth Department, the Layman's League, the Board of Christian Education, and reorganizing the Finance Committee. Between the years of 1973 and 2010, Reverend Dr. R. W. Stiles Sr. served First Baptist Church for 37 years. Early in his tenure, the mortgage of the church building was paid off and the mortgage was burned. During his tenure, many ministries were established including such ministries as the Tape Ministry, Women's Angel Tree, Leading by Feeding, Beautification, Honors and Layman League, an 8.30 a.m. worship service and a Wednesday night Bible study were added. The male chorus and praise team were formed and a youth minister position was created. To facilitate member transportation, two passenger vans and one handicap accessible bus was purchased. Increased community involvement was accomplished via church support and our participation in the following programs. Back to School Bash, After School Tutorial Program, Computer Training Lab, Good Shepherd Kitchen, Allied Churches, Spencer Brown Thomas Homes, a 40-unit apartment complex for senior citizens and people with disabilities, restoration of three residential houses, and purchase of land for future expansion. From 2012 to 2013, Reverend Dr. J.D. Ballard served as interim pastor. Along with the support of the Rowan Baptist Association, Dr. Ballard provided leadership, teaching, encouragement, and biblical guidance in the search for a new pastor for First Baptist Church. From 2013 to 2019, Reverend Dr. Dre A. Bland became the 20th pastor of First Baptist Church and was officially installed on October 13, 2013. Under his leadership, the church completed its first major building renovation in 50 years. Additionally, the church annex building was renovated and Amos House was acquired for additional outreach efforts. Ministerial staff was extended to include an associate pastor for discipleship and pastoral care, an associate youth pastor and director of ministries, and a minister of music, as well as professional staffing for the church nursery. The church also saw its first female associate pastor, first female church treasurer, first female associate minister and ordained the first female minister. Reverend Dr. John E. Robinson II was formally installed as pastor on August 29th, 2021. Sensitive to the ministerial challenges presented by COVID virus, he focused on putting programs in place like special ops to promote greater community outreach and evangelism. 
a COVID mass memorial to recognize and honor the memory of individuals who passed during the pandemic. And the broadcast of Sunday service was expanded to more online media outlets. During Homecoming 2021, the titles of Lady Emeritus were bestowed on the Reverend Dr. Helen Horton Stiles, respectively. Following the service, the First Baptist Annex Multipurpose Room was dedicated to the memory of such beloved and respected spiritual giant, Reverend Dr. R.W. Stiles Sr. The name was changed to the R.W. Stiles Multipurpose Room. Despite the continued threat of the ever-mutating COVID virus, the church continued to grow in winning souls for Christ. Under the leadership of Dr. John E. Robinson II, over 50 individuals gave their lives to Christ and became members of the church. The dynamic worship environment encouraged and prepared the congregants for an active worship experience and discipleship. The utilization and quality of several mass media outlets have been instrumental in helping to spread the gospel and keep everyone informed and involved in church activities. During the past year, the number of young people in church increased significantly. As a result, programs were designed and implemented to specifically minister to the unique needs, interests, and challenges of this group. Other programs were developed to address congregational needs in times of trial, struggle, and discouragement. To help us all through these trying times, Dr. Robinson instituted weekday morning and evening devotions consisting of familiar hymns, prayers, and words of encouragement and inspiration. This has truly been a year of growth in membership, spiritual teaching, increased outreach, and community involvement. The members of First Baptist Church continue to give all honor and praise to God for his continued love, guidance, direction, protection, faithfulness, favor, blessings, grace, and mercy, and has allowed the church, which was established in love and rooted in faith, to continue to grow in grace. We long forward to seeing what God has in store for the next chapter of our story.